Hello everyone, welcome to this Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making this overhead thing, which will show your platform you're playing on, your group rank, and also, of course, your display name with your alt. Yeah, I was making this little game and I thought I had to share you guys how to make this because I found this pretty satisfying. So let's get scripting and I hope you enjoy this. Just so you know, guys, this will be one of the longer tutorials I'll be making because this has a gigantic script, also including a module script because you'll be saving information about the script. Yeah. So first of all, let's go into your server script service and click on the plus icon. Let's add a script and let's change this to overhead system. I would just call this. You can call it whatever you want. Then first, let's set up all the UI. So I'll make this bigger just for you guys. So inside of overhead system, you can click on the plus and add a billboard gui yeah we will call this overhead billboard gui yeah maybe we will change some properties so inside of here you will change size to 3 comma 0 comma 3 comma 0 and also size offset 0 comma 1 that's perfect then what we need is a ui list layout and we can change horizontal alignment to center vertical alignment to bottom and that's everything for ui list layout then inside of our overhead system we will add a frame this frame will be called devices this will be to like put the image of the devices inside yeah so we will change some settings here i think so the size we can change to 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 comma 0 the background transparency you're going to change this to 1 and that's everything you need to change in devices but of course you're going to add a ui list layout which will will be changing this thing again left to center and now vertical alignment to center as well and also fill direction to this to horizontal but in ojy you have to do it in vertical then we're going to also add a image label and let's rename this to the device yeah change the size to 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 the image we will just delete and press press enter because we're not going to put inside nothing inside us yet we're going to manually put it inside and that's everything done for devices so you can close this up then of course we will do also a health bar so make a new frame which will be calling health the things you'll be changing in health is a bear is the background color which will be actually we don't have to change this because we we're just going to put transparency to one then inside of size we're going to do 0 0.7 comma 0 comma 0 0.03 Oh, I mean 0 0.7, comma, 0, comma, 0 0.03, comma, 0, like this. And that's everything. And just for a security check, just uh, change the background color tree into 71, comma, 71, comma, 71. So we have like a good, we have like a gray scale thing. Then instead of health, we're going to add a UI corner. And this UI corner is going to be 1, comma, 0. So it's rounded. Then what we're going to also do is we go inside of here. Let's add a new frame. Answering this to bar. So some things you have to change in here is the anchor point, which will be 0, 0, 0.5. Also the color, which will be a green one, which will be 1, 171, 255, 140. I mean, so we have like the satisfying blue. Background transparency start with 1. The position will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5, 0. Size will be 1, 0, 1, 0. And that's everything to change in bar but we're gonna add some things inside of here which will be also a ui corner which will be again 1.0 and also a ui radiant which we will just put this this over here and oh okay so ui gradient we're gonna get the transparency plus put this up and then get this and pull this all the way down here yeah so you will have something like this click on close and that is everything you need to change inside of ui gradient and we're almost done what you're gonna do is we're gonna add also inside of our overhead system a label a text label and we're gonna do this text example yeah so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do also a gradient which you will leave like this enabled will do false yeah enabled will be false i'm sorry yeah enabled false and then leave this how it is yeah but the rotation here will be 90 then what we're also going to do is a ui stroke we're going to leave this at this black round one zero disable this and we're done that's everything you need with uh with this then after that what we need is a module script which we can also create in here module script and let's frame this to overhead settings yeah let's make this smaller because now we're going to go a bit of the scripting stuff so we will have local 
overhead settings then we're gonna open this up press a couple of times enter then we're gonna do main really just copy this return overhead settings yeah so we're gonna do here main settings equals again is a couple of time enter yeah also by the way do here like a points and brackets so we end it then player username equals true team names equals false Oh, by the way, also after everything, you have to do like a point comma. Group ranks equals room. The advice display equals room. Display equals true. And group ID equals which is your group ID. I'm going to use this one, which is mine. So I'm going to copy this, your group ID, copy it. And I will go back into our, my Roblox studio, which is group ID here, which you paste inside of here. And then again, the point brackets, yeah so why do we do this so let's say if you don't want your player username to be shown you just do your pulse yeah if you want the team names to be like uh, enabled but are disabled like let's say you have like multiple teams in your leaderboard then uh, you can enable this group ranks device display if you don't want your device to be displayed click on false okay then go here double enter and we're gonna do text settings equals brackets double enter or triple okay i'm gonna do text stroke equals true because we want a stroke text radiant equals true then display name so if you want your display name to be shown true the user name equals true like this and that is our module script yeah also here this thing uh, so we're gonna retrieve our true and false settings to our overhead system script which we'll be making right now yeah so first delete your print hello world now what we're gonna do is look at our players yeah equals game double point players game double point get service players sorry now what we're gonna do is local our tween service which will be game double point get service tween service and then local group service equals game double point get service group service plus a local user input service this which will be kind of point get service user input service they're also going to do our overhead settings use our module script equals require script dot parent the point wait for child overhead settings yeah which is our script dot parent and in, in this thing we have our overhead settings yeah local function on character added character come up player yeah like this we're gonna like call this function out later so we're gonna look our head yeah because it is billboard will be over our head it's character double point wait for child and then brackets head and local our billboard gui clone because we're gonna clone it equals script dot overhead billboard gui double point clone billboard gui dot clone dot abor i don't know it's outdoor nay sorry equals head billboard gui that parent equals in our head also then local apply text settings equals function text instance like this local ui gradient equals text instance the point find first child ui gradient also local ui stroke equals text instance the point find first child ui stroke yeah double enter if ov settings dot text settings dot text gradient and ui gradient then ui gradient dot enabled equals true else if not ov settings dot text settings dot text gradient and ui gradient then what we're gonna do ui i'm gonna just copy this oh copy this paste in here and make this false yeah then here double enter go a bit down if ov settings dot text settings dot text stroke and ui stroke then we're gonna do is ui gradient dot ui stroke i mean dot enabled equals true i do is copy this paste is in here else if not and then do this then we're gonna do false then we have this here boom and then we can do here double enter if ov settings dot main settings dot device display then local device says frame clone equals script dot devices no point clone yeah device clone device frame clone i mean dot parent equals billboard gui clone local device image label equals the device frame clone no point wait for child device if device frame clone then if 
user input service that touch and not build equals true then what we're gonna do is device image label dot image equals in our brackets we're gonna do this thing oh we're gonna do this thing yeah all these like like these things will be linked in the description below so this will be for your uh, like phone players and ipad players yeah so i will be like in the description will be like ipad double point with this then we're gonna do else if user input service dot gamepad enabled equals true then which you guessed it it will be for our controller players gonna put this thing inside of here else if user input servers dot br enabled equals true then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our br image and else if user input servers dot mouse enabled equals true then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do for our computer users yep boom 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 yeah then inside of this end double enter if ov settings dot main settings dot theme names then what you're gonna do local text instance clone equals script dot text example double point clone yeah actually i'm not gonna do t names at all to make these things a bit shorter so team names we can remove so we don't need this but what we were gonna do is if we settings up main settings up player username and then what we're gonna do is here dot character dot humanoid dot display distance type equals bear with me enum dot humanoid display distance type dot none boom just like this and then local text instance clone equals script dot parent script dot text example dot point clone text instance clone dot parent equals billboard gui clone yeah local display name equals player dot display name local user name equals what you're gonna do is in brackets put an out double point player dot name yeah then local text to display equals display name and if ov settings dot text settings dot display name and ov settings dot text settings dot username then what we're gonna do is text to display equals string dot format i'm gonna do percent s space in the brackets again percent s comma display name comma username yeah else if uh, ov settings dot text settings dot username then what we're gonna do is just text to display equals username yeah double enter text to display dot text equals text to display wait text instance clone i mean also text instance clone dot name will be player username if ov settings dot main settings dot player username or ov settings dot main settings dot group ranks or ov settings oh no. now what we're gonna do is apply text settings text instant instance clone and also i don't think we need a health bar if you want me to do a health display in the future just let me know i'm not gonna do this right now or else the tutorial will be a bit too long i know i made the frame for health so if you want to part two or else this part will be a bit too long i'm not gonna do that right now yeah so we're gonna skip this so this is like already like a big size script so then we're gonna do is local function on player edit a player it will be player dot character edit no point connect function character like this and on character edit character come on player yeah boom player dot player added the point connect and player added other thing like this yeah so i think now if you play the game oh i kind of did something up or what did i do is see here i have no idea let's test the game now let me check i did something wrong here which is this lay this Distance type. Let me check if this works now. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not like removing the background though. Uh, maybe I forgot to do that inside of our text example. Parents fancy one. Maybe that will work. Uh, so that worked. Uh, it's now black though for some reason. Uh, and then even devices, we also put the background transparency on one here. And normally you should see 
your thing right here and also this right here yeah but to fix this thing right over here that it's like a bit small we can actually go into your text example yeah we're gonna go a bit down make this two bolts i will actually also use fedorka one because i like this this color i will do to this also do text scaled then we play the game you will see it will be a bit bigger or uh, maybe don't do text scaled because that's a bit too big just leave it at 14 and you will see this yeah i think that's a bit more satisfying to look at yeah but we forgot one major thing which is your group rank let's go back inside of here yeah and right above play username we will just add if ov settings dot main settings dot group ranks then local text instance clone equals script dot text example double point clone text instance clone dot parent will be in our billboard clone text instance clone dot name will be our group rank local default text so that means if you're not in the group we're gonna do unrank or we can also do guest control routine dot wrap function will be if player dot is is in group of settings dot main settings dot group id then what we're gonna do local role equals player to point get role in group like this of settings dot main settings dot group id text instance clone dot text equals role now we're gonna do also if you're not in the group text instance clone dot text will be our default text yeah and then just to do this like right over here boom if ov settings dot main settings dot player username or ov settings dot main settings dot group ranks then what you're gonna do is simply apply text settings text instance clone yeah so now when we test the game you'll see you will also see our founder thing on top so you will see your like your platform you're playing on your group thing and of course also your um, texting but i can see i did something weird with the texting so let me change like some things there okay, so i forgot this this has to be one comma zero comma zero point one comma zero like this just to make this look more cool just use sur sounds pro make it bold use semi bold one minus one disable this uh, i'm gonna do just leave it as a label why not auto uh, enable text guild here 14 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, none on center center that should be good and just to check if this is everything all right yeah now we test the game you will see everything here will be perfectly you will have your thing founder and let's say like i would just like use another group i would just use looks like this if i don't have yeah, okay here it's like says owner so then when we go here we will change our group id to this i mean to this when we play the game you will see i will have the owner rank if i like don't want the group ranks to be shown i just play this to false and it will not be shown if i don't want display names or if i don't want usernames only the display names you'll put it on files you will only see your display name it cannot go all the way but it's just like your settings thing you can tweak your own way however you like yeah so i hope you like this very very long tutorial i'm already recording for 30 minutes um, i hope this will be like a shorter tutorial um, if you're on part two for your help bar and everything just let me know i hope you bear through this tutorial and like learn some new things i'm not gonna make you wait any longer i'm gonna leave it right here and i will see you in the next tutorial